Welcome to the section on building a web app GUI. In the following lectures, we're going to be walking through how to build a front-end website that interacts with the JSON API that we've been building in the previous lectures. Until now, you've been doing a lot of back-end, and this is going to be a lot of front-end. But we'll try to go quickly and skim through the parts that aren't relevant to Node.js devs, like writing CSS styles and all those kind of things. We want to build a web app that presents a GUI to the user with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we want to allow the user to, one, sign up, two, log in and log out, three, modify their account settings, four, delete their account, five, create a check, modify that check, and then delete those checks, and six, see a dashboard of all the checks that they have created and the status of those checks. To do this, we are going to first refactor our existing app so that it can serve static assets like HTML files, images, CSS files, front-end JavaScript files, and such to the browser. We're going to add a bunch of public-facing routes to our router, and these will serve HTML to web browsers instead of JSON responses via an API. Then we're going to create a bunch of templates that will be used to serve the HTML pages. And we're going to write a lot of front-end JavaScript so that the forms that we're submitting on the front-end can be processed via AJAX JSON calls to our API as opposed to a traditional form post. This section isn't going to introduce many new Node.js modules, but the features and abilities that we present here are crucial if you want to know how to build a fully featured MVC or anything of the like using Node.js. You simply must know how to serve static assets, render templates, and everything else that we're going to do in this section. And as I said, we're going to rush quickly through the things that don't matter much. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time tweaking CSS or anything like that. Without further ado, let's get started refactoring for this GUI. Mm -hmm. 